Jonathan Wainscott. I think my slide presentation got a little bit messed up, so I might have to do some impromptu here. Anyway, uh, you know how much I love uh, anniversaries. I'm going to take you back to uh, July 1900, as I'm sure maybe a few of you enjoyed the festivities over this weekend. Back then, there were a, a couple of parades. Uh, there was one on uh, July 26th and July 30th, and they were sponsored by the Democratic Party. They were torchlit processions in the name of white supremacy. The vote for the amendment to disenfranchise black citizens here in North Carolina via the literacy test and grandfather clause I was coming up on August 2nd, so it would be like uh, next week. And so there were lots of writings in the paper about white supremacy. There's so much of it I couldn't really put it all in here. In the bottom of this announcement, you'll see it says, all white men are invited to take part in this event, preparations for the big um, procession, handing out torches at the courthouse. This is the old courthouse there, and you know, the uh, route was given, and this is where my slide uh, presentation mess, uh, gets messed up a little bit. But there was also a, a, something printed in the Asheville Citizen Times v. Raleigh. It was about a woman who was imploring the men to uh, vote for white supremacy. And here's what she said. Shall we be obliged to submit to the indignities that pale the faces of strong men? From what class of Negroes have our insult come? Which is most to be dreaded, the weak and unwise Negro vaulted up by misplaced power, or the humble black man under wise control? Answer the question, brother, and let your vote represent your answer. As you honor your mother, as you love your wife, as you cherish your daughter, cast your vote for white supremacy. A touching appeal to the men of North Carolina from the womanhood of the state. The response to the call next Thursday will gladden the hearts of the mothers, wives, and daughters of the old North state. So uh, maybe as the reparations process goes on, we apparently uh, study gender disparities, we can also look at how the uh, women back in the day were really the most ardent. As I told you a few weeks ago, it was the, the Hal Reed Act, where it was the Women's um, Bunkum League that uh, were uh, working the hardest to disenfranchise uh, the black vote in uh, 1931 when we reformed our form of government. We disenfranchised black voters 10 weeks before the formation of this very agency. And I would really like the history of this agency to be looked at Perhaps maybe the uh, reparations committee would be interested in hearing about it. So thank you very much. Have a nice night.